all right hello everyone and thank you for joining me on this video where i shall be reviewing another of my digital solutions with you on this video i shall review my version of the automated class attendance management system which has since become helpful to me as i can now focus on other aspects of my duties as a class teacher this solution has afforded me the privilege of automating the challenges i face in keeping up to date class attendance record you see, to address the various orders faced by teachers in updating and maintaining accurate and neat class attendance register, many schools are now turning towards technology solutions. One of such solutions is the class attendance management system, which others often refer to as digital register. Now, this solution can automate class attendance tracking, record accurate calculations, and provide valuable data analysis and insights. In other words, using a digital register can simplify the process of marking attendance and storing data. For instance, what you see on your screen is my class attendance I've decided to share with you. If I magnify, you see that in this class I have 57 students. Then in the next one, I have 58 students to cater for. Now, making a total of 150 students, which I have to mark their attendance and their regularization in school. Now, often easier said than done, this task could be very daunting if even you have more population than this. Even if you have a lesser population than this, you could still face a lot of oversight and calculation error. And this is what brought about this new solution that I'm going to review with you in this video. In this video, I shall be walking you through the various features of this solution that I made with the spreadsheet application Google Sheets. We are going to see the various aspects of the class attendance, its set tools and its handles for us. And as a result of that, this is not to say that we want to totally overhaul the physical attendance register. What we are saying is that we can use this automation to get valuable data then we transfer such data into our physical register so without wasting much of your time let me walk you through this solution so that at the end of it all you can also implement similar solution at your end let's go into the video okay so as you see on your screen this is a folder where i have the worksheet of each of my class attendance management system okay remember in the previous screen i told us that i managed two classes one having 58 students the other having 57 students in which in total i have 150 students i have to manage their attendance okay so the classes are as you are seeing on your screen so i'm going to click on this first one so that we see the structure of the class attendance management system Okay, so clicking on that, you are going to be welcomed by this screen you are seeing. So let me walk you through how this is structured. Now, if you look at these tabs, these moving tabs, you see that I have from week 1 to week 13. This is week 13, from week 1 to week 13. So that means that this, um, the number of days school open will be distributed across 13 weeks. And then we now have the summary session. You can see somewhere at the bottom of your screen you see summary if i click on the tab you see this is where you have the summary of the term the summary of the term and this is where you have the total attendance for the term the total number of the school opened the average class attendance the boys at the average class attendance for boys the average class attendance for the girls okay but because this term is just resuming actually we are in week four this is my week four attendance and we are even on a wednesday so that is why the attendance is not yet um, fully loaded but because if you look at week five you see that it's still very very empty so we are in week four okay now let's go back to week one i'll click on week one so this is the attendance that has been recorded for week one so how is this helpful now first thing first what are the variables what are the things that you need in order to have a well calculated and well uh, managed class attendance number one you need to know the total number of students in your class and as you can see on your screen you see that we have 58 students here the 58 students in my class for this particular class so if you come down and you look at this section you will see that you are seeing 58 
this is 58 we have 23 boys and 35 girls okay so that is the first thing first then the second thing you need to know is the demographic of your student the gender of your student can you see so that is what that is how we are able to arrive at these um 23 boys and 35 girls making a total of 58 that is that for the, for that then the second one is the attendance itself you know when you mark attendance you mark from morning and afternoon making two so each each of the boxes represents two so if i if i for instance look at this first one this first one can you see if i you know decide to uncheck one of the boxes you see that we have 10 if i uncheck the box of friday can you see it has changed to eight it is now eight here i'm talking about the first child you see it is now eight here so if i should check it back you see we have 10 so if the child is present for the five days in a week that will be morning and afternoon that is five times two will give us 10 so for the first child on my list on my class attendance his attendance is accurate he was in school throughout week one for all the days and that is why he has his own 10 and if you look at this second this child here this one here that is having two you realize that this child was only present in week one on friday that is one of the days out of five so is recorded two points for his attendance so at the end of the day at the end of the day when you scroll down in this total attendance column this total attendance when you scroll down you see that there is a summation that has been done for us there's a summation that has been done for us here that's the total attendance for week one is two uh, three hundred and twelve okay now you also observe that i did not fill up this place and i did not fill up this place the reason is because in my class i only have 58 students in this particular class okay and you know the, if you are familiar with the regular attendance register that we use you will discover that then um, it can only accommodate for 80 students per class okay so we have made the position and the the space to accommodate more students up to the number of 80 in case your class attendance is up to up to that okay so that is another thing then the next thing you need to note is how this template or how this program is recording the morning attendance and the afternoon attendance you see for monday you see that it recorded 20 it recorded 20 attendance for monday that is our uh, for money rather 20 attendance for money and 20 attendance for afternoon this is how this attendance register is going to record everything then at the end of the day it's going to calculate the percentage it's going to calculate the percentage then this one is going to calculate the time school open morning and afternoon which is 10 if there is a if there's an holiday in any of the days maybe out of the five days we have one day of holiday maybe independence day or children's day or any day is going to record eight now let me confirm that to you if i go to week two in week two if you look at monday monday was a public holiday in week two was a public holiday so you see that no attendance was ticked for monday so let's see what is going to happen at the bottom look at this place it is recording eight number of days open is recorded eight for morning and afternoon this is because in one of the days we were not in school so the attendance was not marked for that day so that is why we have eight here aside from that every other um, analysis were recorded if you look at this place also you see that for the monday you see that we have zero for morning and zero for afternoon the reason is because monday was a public holiday and nothing was checked for monday let, let, let me put this again so that you understand you see all this place is not was checked because there was a public holiday on monday so this is what this attendance register does so at the end of the day i'll just come to my class and call the attendance as i call the attendance of the student i'll tick each box for each day okay so from monday to friday now at the end of the day i'll go to the bottom of this place and simply copy my analytics I'll copy my analytics from here and transfer it to my hard copy attendance register. With this, the only effort I am expending is just to go to my class and call the attendance of the student. As the answer present, I will check the box. Those that are absent, I will leave the box unchecked. 
then i'll come to the bottom of my um my management system my attendance management system and just copy all the data as i have as you are seeing on your screen into my hard copy attendance register so someone is now asking that so what now happens at the end of the term i'll come to the summary i'll come to the summary at the bottom of your see you see summary if i click on it so at the bottom of the summary so far though we are in week four this student has had 32 attendance so this is how he's going to record all the attendance and you remember that in a, in the register there's a point where you have to record the total attendance of each child for that term so rather for me doing calculation again on uh, week one he came two times week two he came three times week four he came he came to school eight times and so on and so forth then i'll now you know do the calculations and do all manner of arithmetics this template does everything for me so what i'll just come is to the summary page as you are seeing on your screen and we'll just transfer everything as you are seeing into the art copy attendance register no stress nothing you know required from me then at the bottom also you see that these are important calculations that we do at the end of the term but this template is already doing it even while we are in week three so as i update even while we are in week four rather so as i update my attendance register this using this template using this software or using this tool this template will be updating the records up to the last day of the academic session then i'll simply just come here and just transfer what i'm seeing here into my hard copy attendance register no stress nothing required of me so you see that it has helped me to calculate the time attendance the total time attendance the number of days student came to school all through the term then it calculated the number of the school open for that term so far the school has opened for 32 days because we are in week four okay that is why you have it 32 here then it has calculated the average attendance of my students then it calculated the average attendance for boys then average attendance for girls now all of these calculations are always very difficult for majority of teachers they are don't daunting tasks that they have to bring out their calculator start calculating at the end of the day many of them make mistake and mutilate the attendance register the physical the hard copy attendance register which require them to go and buy a new one okay but with this all you just have to do is transfer the numbers to from this from your screen to your hard copy attendance register so basically this is what this attendance register will do for you first you enter the name of your student then you enter the agenda then you begin to check present absent present absent that is all all the arithmetics and all the mathematics will be handled by the system as you are seeing on your screen so i believe you have learned a thing or two let me know in the comment section if there is any question you have with respect to any aspect of this review that i've made now how do you see this solution what is your take is this something you like to implement in your school or would you need support in implementing it in your school whatever it is you can check the description of this video you will see the various ways ways i can be contacted please do let me hear from you i like to hear from you so that we can collaborate and work together so that we can deploy something like this for your school you can also use the comment section to tell me what you think about this solution i'll be very glad to attend to your questions in the comment section thank you very much and i'll see you the next time